If you want to create multiple dependent drop down and you have already Office 365, then I'm going to share with you a unique and simple method to develop the solution. We don't need this helper column. We don't need extra table for each of the label. We just need data like this to get our final solution. For example, I select Europe and based on this list, it will show only the country related to Europe. And if I select Africa, this will show me country related to Africa based on this list. If I change Africa to Asia, it will only show the country related to Asia based on this list. For example, I select China this will only show me the country sorry the city related to china before developing this solution keep in mind your data must be sort otherwise this logic will not work first select all of the data sheet go to data click sort add label first column then add another label second column then add another label third column a to z all of them hit ok this tip is very important to get our final solution without doing this tip this solution will not work now i'm going to show you how we can build this solution step by step. The first step is simply select all of the cell we want to apply drop down, data validation, list, select all of the value. Click on source, select all of the columns value. I'm going to select using mouse. You can use shortcut key, hit OK, and this will create simple data validation. Now the beauty of Office 365, this automatically ignore the duplicate. And this is why I'm developing this new solution for you. So for example, I select these three options. Now I will build a function for second level drop down. If I type here offset for the reference i will took a1 as a reference hit a4 key to lock the reference for the row number now this is africa this is row number two but if we select instead of africa to asia we need this 11 row number using match function we get the row number so match for the match function where is the lookup value so my lookup value is f2 where is the lookup array this whole range is my lookup array hit a4 key to lock this range and for the match type i will simply use exact match so simply type zero close the bracket for match function hit comma now which range you want to display on drop down since we want to display the column b so for the column we just need to put one keep in mind offset function start with zero so this is zero one two so we just type one for the height how many rows you want for example from this column how many rows you want to return now in this case this is africa so we want one two three four five six seven eight nine now how we can use the dynamic formula if we use simple formula count if select all of the range log the reference for the criteria i will simply select f2 again close the bracket for count if close the bracket for offset hit enter and this will filter column b whenever there is Africa on column A. Now, if I change Africa to let's say Asia, this will return a new list. Of course, there's a duplicate, but since Office 365 automatically removed duplicate on data validation, so this is a good point for us. Now, we simply copy this formula, select all of the cell you want to apply data validation, go to data validation, list, control V to paste this function, hit OK, and now we get our drop down. So you can see it only show the country based on available list on column A. Now we simply need to develop the third level drop down. So we just need to modify this formula a little bit. Of course, the A1 reference will be changed. Instead of A2, I need G2. So I just backspace, hit G2 and also this F2 will be G2. For the range, instead of A, we just want the B. So simply you can select this line and drag this to column B and also select the green drag to column B. You can update formula manually as well. Now hit enter. Now you can see it returned column B, but actually we want column C. So we forget one more edit in formula. This one actually starting column is based on A. So this is zero column, this is one, this is two. So we just need to change one to two, hit enter, and this will return city based on selected country. We simply copy this function, select the cell you want to apply data validation, go to data validation, list, control V to paste, hit OK. And this is how we can create three level of drop down with a very easy and unique formula i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for more video and if you have time please share this video with your friend as well thank you so much